Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets just coming on here to go ahead and do our weekly budget as it is Sunday and this is something that I have gotten used to doing every beginning of the week and it kind of sets everything up for me for Monday mornings. <laughs> so if you are new to this channel, I am a weekly budgeter because my husband gets paid every Thursday from his job. I get paid once a month and it's on the first day of the month. So our biggest check is usually the beginning of the month and then the rest of those checks are just substantial checks from my husband. Today we're gonna go ahead and budget for my husband's paycheck on January, 19th and on this week we are only expecting to get income from his paycheck and then I always put a spot in there for savings we've got the minimum for his paycheck at six hundred and fifty dollars and I don't expect to get anything from savings, which means that our inflow total should be $650. The bills that we have due this week are uh, nationwide, which is our dog's insurance. And this will be the last week or the last month that it's gonna be at its current rate as it renews in February. And that's due on the 21st, along with our Apple subscription. And then the Chase Slate card is due on the 27th, as well as Amazon. And then my husband's phone is due on the 28th. What I currently budget for the dog's insurance is $154 a month. The Apple subscription uh, went up about $3, so it's currently at about $24. The Slate is still at $91. The Amazon is $17, and the phone is $57. When we add these five bills together, We end up with a total of 343. And when we take that away from our income, we are left with 307 to go ahead and fill the rest of our categories. When we move down to our variable expenses, thankfully we have met them all. So we can go ahead and skip this section which means we have zero expenses in our variable expenses and we can carry over those $307. Now, I do fill our sinking funds um, and all of them do add up to $100. So medical is gonna go ahead and get its weekly 25. Vet will get 15, household 15, Car maintenance, 15. Gifts, 15. Vacation gets five. And I pre-wrote this and we actually already filled our renter's insurance. So that has been replaced with the Microsoft Renewal. And that's for now gonna be getting $3. The $3 that car um, that the renter's insurance was getting. Car registration will continue getting $3. And then our emergency is added to get all of that up to $100. When we take 100 away from our leftover, we're left with 207. If you are new to my channel, I always do these two sections out of order. So we do do my husband's 52 week number two, which goes towards our 
moving expenses, and that is to $26.50 a week. Because that has a 50 cent, and I like to keep the snowball at even numbers, I'm gonna go ahead and put a spot for the buffer and put 50 cents for the buffer which will bring our extra savings total to $27. And when we take 27 away from the 207, that leaves us with $180 going into our snowball which will get us to that zero base budget. As always, my friends, I do like to check my math. So I've got 650 as our inflow, minus 343 for bills, don't have any variable expenses, the 100 to the sinking funds, the 180 going towards our snowball, and then 27 going towards our extra debt. And yes, my friends, that gets us to our beautiful zero base budget. I will be back on Wednesday with our spending update and hopefully Thursday we will have my husband's paycheck so we can go ahead and close this week out. Thank you to each and every one of you who um, take the time to watch my content. Today has been a very strange day. Um, I don't know what it got into me but I was like I need to deep clean my house so I started organizing and taking things out and putting things back and getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I don't know why I put myself through this without planning ahead because I do have really bad allergies. So um, as I was finishing up, I started sneezing, it broke out in hives, the whole shebang. <laughs> and I did take some allergy medication, which has had me kind of um, droopy the rest of the day or drowsy the rest of the day. Um, so sorry that this video came up a little later than usual. As always, my friends, I hope that each and every one of you have a great week ahead and I will see you soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye.